Eric Anair. I happen to wear them today because it's so fucking bright. Hello you commando clams. A lot of people out there who know me know how much remakes really piss me off. This is an exception. Made back when it wasn't such a fucking thing. <laughs> Don't you think we know how insane this sounds? But what do you think we're doing? You think we're making it up? What are you having trouble accepting? Do you believe that my body looked like me? Do you believe that her body looked like her? You think we've all gone crazy? You are trying to make us believe that we are seeing things. Why are you trying to do that? All I'm trying to do is help. This is like sci-fi fever in my head. I've had so many, I, so many things go through my head when I think of this movie. Now, does anybody out there remember a TV show called The Invaders? The Invaders. Alien beings from a dying planet. Their destination, the Earth. Their purpose, to make it their world. Kind of cross it with Day of the Triffids, and it's kind of what I feel about the plot. The pod people beings that have come from their world to come take over ours. And they're able to make exact copies of anyone they come across. I love porn puns. There's elements of the thing too. That could be a porn pun as well. I don't want to disturb you if you're thinking, but I could sure do with some Chinese food. I haven't eaten all day. Banana tits. This has a great cast. Don Sutherland, Burke Adams, Jeff Goldblum, Leonard Nimoy, Veronica Cartwright, and Kevin McCarthy doing what we saw at the end of the original. You're next, please, please. You're next, we're in danger. Please, listen to me. Something terrible. Please, you're next. Here they are. They're already here. Come, you're next. They're coming. They're coming. They must have done something. <gasps> Blink and you'll miss him. Donald's MASH co-star, the legend Robert Duval, appears in a quick role. This version was directed by Philip Kaufman who would have more success with The Wanderers, The Right Stuff, Rising Sun. The most famous project that he was ever a part of was co-writing Raiders of the Lost Ark. Michael Chapman, a brilliant cinematographer who would work with Kaufman again on The Wanderers, shot Taxi Driver, Raging Bull, and Michael Jackson's Bad Video for Martin Scorsese. One of the inspirations for Alien was the original movie, and look who's in this version. This remake has left its mark in history. It's proof you can make something interesting that may differ from the original. It's influenced audiences for generations. Look at the ending, what a great twist. I've said before that the 1970s produced the best movies. There is so much in each genre, and now horror was for the grown-ups. Matthew. 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 The other now this is an addendum old boy wasn't on my list i had it removed at the last minute but for some reason it stuck in my head like it was on my list probably because i wanted to watch it this was a fucking difficult list to, to finalize i'm glad i am so glad that i watched it